Hi guys, Sox Studio here and for today we are going to share on how we do our architectural post-production process using Adobe Photoshop CC. The version of Adobe Photoshop that we will be using is 2019. The version of Adobe Photoshop is quite important since lower versions might have different settings from the latest ones. For the rendered image that we will be using on this video, we will be using the rendered image from the DHL part 1. If you are interested on the Lumion preset effect used for this interior rendered image, we suggest that you go check that video out. You can also download the SketchUp and Lumion file of the interior model which is posted in our Gumroad website for free. Or you can support us by donating any amount of money, thank you very much. We will put the link of the website down below so you can easily download it. Let's now open the interior rendered image in Adobe Photoshop. Click the background layer so that we could change it into layer 0. Then press OK. Press Ctrl Shift A to open the camera raw filter. Click the auto tab. Adjust the saturation and vibrance into plus 3. The haze would be plus 25. Clarity and texture would be both plus 50. Let's adjust the settings. Our goal here is to make the image less dark. Since after applying the texture and clarity settings, most elements on this image would appear dark. Darker. Okay, this is good enough. Press OK. After the camera raw filter, let's add the Gaussian blur effect. Hold Alt, then drag the layer 0 down. A layer 0 copy should come out. Then drag it above layer 0 without holding Alt. Change the normal setting into soft light. Adjust the opacity into 39%. Go to filters, then select blur, and under the blur effect, select Gaussian blur. Radius should be 5 pixels. Okay, looks good. Then press OK. After the Gaussian blur, let's add the high pass effect. Press Ctrl Shift Alt E. A layer 1 should appear above layer 0 copy. Then press Ctrl Shift U. The layer 1 should turn black and white. Change the normal setting into overlay. Adjust the opacity into 25%. Go to filter, then select other, and select high pass. Radius should be 10 pixels. Then press OK. Alright, this is good enough. Let's now save this image. Create a folder, and let's name this image 1. Quality should be 12, and maximum. After that, let's open the previously saved image. Click the back background layer and we want to change this into layer 0. We are going to use the camera raw filter again so press Control shift a Let's set the texture into negative 99 and clarity into plus 96. We are going to adjust these settings again and make the image appear less darker. Okay this looks good enough. Press Control shift a again and let's apply a bit of vibrance and saturation. Vibrance would be good at plus 15 and saturation would be good at plus 5. Okay this is good. Lastly, let's lessen the texture a bit. Let's Let's open the camera raw filter, press Ctrl Shift A, let's adjust the texture into negative 29 and add a bit of clarity, just plus 2. Alright, this is good enough. And that is pretty much it for the post-production of this interior rendered image. Let's now save this image, quality should be 12 and maximum. Here's the difference between the rendered image with just rendering it with Lumion and after applying the post-production with Adobe Photoshop CC. We hope that you learned something new from this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.